What's this? All right, this is Mama, our goat, and uh, she kitted uh, a couple weeks ago. Unfortunately, her kid did not make it. Uh, she was born at one of the coldest nights possible, and I wasn't around to take care of her. However, she is milking, and today I'm just gonna show you a quick uh, rundown of how to milk a goat and what's involved. So they have basically the same udders as a uh, cow will have. Um, usually what I did, as I forgot it this morning because we were just running around, is uh, I'll get some hot water with the cloth just to uh, wash off her uh, teats. And what I'll do is I'll give her a squirt right off the bat to uh, make sure that there's no bacteria in the um, udders or in the teats themselves. So just to get anything that she was laying down in feces or anything like that. And basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab one of her teats with your thumb and index finger and pinch it at the top like that and then squeeze with the other three fingers that you have there. And I'll just use a, a steel pot like this. And what I'll do is I'll grab the one udder and I will squeeze using my middle finger and going down to my ring finger and then down to my baby finger or pinky finger should I say and then you do it to the other udder or the other teat as well and you keep on going like that and you can tell that they have milk in them because they're pretty firm and uh, you can tell that just by the weight of the teats themselves how uh, how much milk the, they have and so what I'll do is you just go back and forth from one to the other and I do this, I don't even have to fix mama here. She's pretty good, I just give her some uh, rolled oats and she'll just uh, sit there and eat away while I milk her. So she's really easy, um, unlike our pygmy where she's a little bit harder to handle and uh, she's not as easy to work with. So I keep working this like this and uh, I'll keep going and I'll show you what the end product looks like. Uh, and then what we'll do is it's nice that it's cold right away or cold outside because you want to put your milk somewhere cool right away. So being that it's cool in here, it's probably just below freezing, uh, the milk doesn't have a chance to go bad. So you can see this udder or this teat is fairly deflated and this other one still has more in it. Uh, one thing with mama here, she did get attacked by a dog, by a uh, previous owner's dog. And uh, her one teat here is a little uh, deformed, but obviously you can see I have no problems milking her. And basically, you can see how they're deflated now and there's really not much. One thing you can do is you can punch up on the um, udder here and just drop the milk down too. So I'll sometimes massage this for uh, 10 seconds or so. And then you'll see that a little bit more milk comes in. And then you can get the last little squirts out of there too. But I'm really not too worried about that because now I'm uh, um, milking her twice a day because she's in peak production. And she's putting out, uh, I'd say about a, a liter, liter and a half a day. As of now, I've noticed that the more um, rolled oats that I feed her, the more production she's giving and uh, the better quality of milk. So that's basically what she's produced here. You can see that there's some really good fat in this um, and uh, there's really not much uh, to filter out. One thing I do see people do is they will shave their goat uh, goat's udder down here so that there's no hair uh, to um, filter out or anything like that. But you know, a little bit of uh, dirtiness will uh, build up your immune system. So uh, you can see mama's still eating here. I haven't fastened her and uh, I'm pretty much done. So I'm gonna get her uh, all fed up with some hay and uh, take this inside and process it inside. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you on the next video.